Hello everyone, how is your weekend now? The latest Premier League stats that have been released have shown that Rasmus Hoyland is the fastest player at Manchester United. Remember, he has only played just over 30 minutes in a Manchester United jersey, but already he has proven that he is faster than some of the best strikers this club has had. Welcome to the hot spot as we do preview that game against Brighton. I'm here to burn you with more Manchester United news. Now look at this. This is the list according to the Premier League of the top speeds so far in the Premier League. The number one uh, yeah, speed merchant is Dominic Solanke from Bournemouth. He has got a top speed of 36.10 kilometers per hour. Anthony Gordon of Newcastle follows with 35.67 kilometers per hour. Anthony Gordon still has uh, a top uh, a speed of 35.65 kilometers per hour. Then Adama Traore of Fulham, very fast guy, powerful, has a speed of 35.55 kilometers per hour, and there follows a red. Two of them in quick succession, but the newbie is the one that will excite and surprise many. Rasmus Hoyland uh, of Manchester United or with a speed of 35.45 kilometers per hour. If you remember at that time when he was disappointed by Marcus Rashford putting on a, 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 you know, a very powerful run straight to, to the goal to give Marcus Rashford an option, but Rashford playing selfish and uh, wasting his energy for nothing. But it was not entirely for nothing because that top speed that he showed did uh, you know, uh, make him the fastest Manchester United player so far this season. Uh, last season, our fastest player was Marcus Rashford. Uh, we've had, I think, Diogo Dalot that has had the top speed of about 35 kilometers per hour uh, this season. Alejandro Ganacho is a uh, second for Manchester United players with the top speed of 35.01 kilometers per hour, and of course, the rest follow now. That is a very important start, uh, considering where we come from as Manchester United. Because if you're a striker, who is going to give uh, your midfielders and the players who are going to be giving you assists options? You've got to have a speed. You've got to be fast at it. Now, Hoyland has already proved that, first of all, he's extremely fast, as we've seen there. He has also proved that he's extremely powerful. He put Gabriel and uh, this Saliba to a huge test with his body, his size and physique. Uh, so he has got uh, in a lot of pace. Uh, he's involved in play. Already, he's showing all the attributes of a top striker. Now, what is interesting with this speed, though, is that uh, his speed is already faster. He has proven already in 30 minutes at Manchester United, he has proved that he's faster than Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney's top speed was, uh, was about 34.4 kilometers per hour. That was why Rooney's top speed. Rooney was never known for his speed. Really. He wasn't the fastest of players. He was fast, not, don't get me wrong, but he was never uh, the, fastest of, the, the fastest of players. It was not what really def defined him. Now, Hoyland is showing us that is that. And if you've got such a fast player playing alongside someone who even Eric Ten Hag praises for his brilliant uh, final pass in Bruno Fernandes, my thinking is at one point, it is going to be a goals galop uh, for Manchester United against some of these clubs. And Brighton could be our first victim because it is expected that Hoyland will be making his uh, home debut, his first full home debut uh, tomorrow uh, uh, against Brighton, that Saturday game at Old Trafford. Impressive stuff there because speed is so important. Because If you've got Marcus Rashford flying in from the left with his speed, Rashford is a bit fast and fast as well with the ball on his feet. You've got a number nine, a target man who is as fast as that. Then you've got a winger. Anthony is not there, but Ganacho is another. He follows him in terms of a high speed. Pelistri as well is another fast player we've got. You've seen him making direct runs to, go to the goal. He's a bit direct and pacey with the ball. I feel like this is something uh, important. This is a dimension, a new dimension uh, that uh, I think he brings that is going to make us a little, uh, a, a little more of a threat going forward. So for me, all these are signs that you've got the right striker in there to come in and you know give us the goals that have uh, uh, you know been elusive, uh, that have been playing hard to get for Manchester United for the longest time. So. Hoyland's situation for me is a, is a very, uh, an extremely promising one. And it is one that, as United supporters, we should be excited about. So, uh, Rasmus Hoyland and his top speed because the Premier League stats do not lie. But uh, how much, who are some of our fastest strikers? If I think about them, I think uh, uh, Robin Van Persie was quite fast. I don't think United is known for having uh, the fastest strikers. We've had smart strikers. I think our strikers have always been more smart than fast. Hoyland seems to have all. I think he's smart, seeing from the few runs he was making and 
in that debut against Arsenal. I thought, I think he's a smart player. He's a technically gifted player. Uh, but uh, Robin Van Persie is a, was extremely fast. Wayne Rooney, yes, was decently fast. Babatov, no, not the fastest. He was so smart. It was more of his brain than his speed. Uh, then and his natural talent, I think. Then uh, uh, Ruth Van Nistroy was smart because his goals were more of positioning and being in the right places and never missing a tap in and all. Uh, but also uh, Van Nistroy was quite fast because we saw him making some you know decent runs back then, yet he was playing with some of the toughest defenses. So as a striker, if you're going to win and score goals, win, win battles and score goals in the Premier League, you've got to have a certain level of speed and physique. And those two attributes are what I think are outstanding about Rasmus Hoyland. But also his technical abilities, I think, have made him stand out from the rest. So we are playing a team like Brighton, which you know is good with the ball. They build up their play so well and fast with precision and all. If you've got a striker like Rasmus Hoyland up front, you're going to keep defenses, the Brighton defense at bay. You're going to, to, to limit them in terms of how much they can go because you've got a threat in a striker who is extremely fast but also extremely strong. So the dimension that Hoyland brings to Manchester United is one thing for me I'm excited about and uh, as we go into that game against Brighton, I think my all eyes should be on, on, on Hoyland and what he does even when we don't, he doesn't have the ball. So I, I hope that uh, they get time. They haven't had a, uh, a lot of time together after that Arsenal game, but I hope that these uh, two, uh, these players get time, especially the forward players in Pedestri, uh, who most likely is going to be starting, uh, and uh, Marcus Rashford, and of course Rasmus Hoylund. If they get time together and try to play uh, together, it could be Ganacho starting, by the way, um, uh, as, a, as a wing on the right. Uh, it will depend on how Ten Hag feels, whether he can play from the right because Ganacho is mostly good coming in from the left uh, the way Jadon Sancho is who is not in the squad by the way and Marcus Rashford but uh, whoever you know is put uh, is put in there I feel we've got uh, young fast players in our uh, in our attack which is important and they give us a special dimension and they will make any defense busy they will be a threat to any defense because of that pace so i hope they've got time to jail because we saw some level of selfishness uh, from marcus rashford when hoyland was giving us that powerful run i thought uh, rashford was a bit selfish so i feel for me if they get time and jail together they'll create you know something that is a bit unique something almost similar to what we saw with liverpool and sadio uh, Mane, uh, Robbie, uh, uh, Bobby, rather, Firmino, and, uh, and, and uh, Mohamed Salah. I mean, uh, that unpredictable front three is something we need because these are first young players who are all good with the ball. I, I feel they'll give us something new. But yeah, good stuff there that our own Rasmus Hoyland is the fastest Manchester United player for a new signing after just one game, showing that, I think, for me, is such a promising, promising sign. And we can only be excited about the future. Tomorrow, it's Man United up against Brighton. I will be returning later to give you some news updates, uh, of course, uh, concerning the injury situation at the club, uh, who is fit and who isn't, and also the probable lineup that is expected to rock that one at Old Trafford. Hotspot, subscribe. My name is Webb, and in a heartbeat, I will be back with more Manchester United updates. For now, it was a speedy update, and I leave in a speedy manner.